In today's mobility training tip, I will be sharing something we can use to help open up our thoracic spine. So for many of us who are grapplers and on the mats a lot, we're getting compressed in our rib cage, our shoulders are always in contact with the mats, so we get very matted down and tight in the shoulders, into this kind of mid-back between the shoulder blades, and a lot of grapplers, we get that classic kind of pain coming in the neck, into that shoulder blade, and a lot of it has to do with thoracic mobility, and for the every man who maybe, oh Billy, I don't grapple, but I like your channel, thoracic mobility is something that most people lack and then their body tries to make up for another way, such as lumbar spine being used for rotational movements. Not good stuff. If we have proper rotation and range of motion in the thoracic spine, the body in other ways, other movements, will work more efficiently and we'll have a better connection between our upper body movement and to our hands and how that connects into our coordination with our lower body. So let's get into the movement. So guys, let's video, it's simple. You're going to take this. You're going to take a baseball, baseball, lacrosse ball, lacrosse ball, even two tennis balls. You could tape them together. I put it in a sock personally just because then I can make them single uh, use balls as well. And so you could do that. And then it's a real simple way to get set up on the exercise. So now let's begin. And you're just going to go in between our shoulder blades here. So I like to start normally in the area like directly between the shoulder blades. Normally wherever you feel pain, it's a good place to start. And then here you just focus on maybe just breathing and relaxing, get an in-breath. Let some air travel and open up those uh, ribs and that thoracic spine. And on your exhale, I like to pull my head slightly and use my feet pressing into the ground to drive pressure into the tissue on either side of that spine. Guys, if you need help creating a performance or pain plan, connect with me below. You can schedule a free 10-minute call talk with me. I can help direct you to some resources, some questionnaires, and see how we can maybe help you create a little plan to conquer your pain and perform better. Now back to the video. Maybe spend 30 seconds or so in a certain area, go through those breaths, but then I like going down further because remember your thoracic spine goes well, well below the midpoint of your back. Okay, So that is all connected. That's all about rotation. So you can go lower down towards T12, Okay, which I like being around T12, so I like aiming about here where your low back muscles start coming in because T12 is where the diaphragm, I'm almost certain, and the psoas, these muscles, or excuse me, the diaphragm is what allows you to relax your breath, and the psoas muscle, when it gets tight, it makes it hard for you to access your psoas. So if we go to T12 with those balls and breathe, into our diaphragm here, we can relax our rib cage open. We're not trying to engage our core here. We're trying to relax our body into the tissue release. Breathe in, your belly gets bigger, and you're opening up that tissue, and it might help facilitate some diaphragmatic opening. More of a diaphragm breath, more diaphragm breath, more relaxed we are, more relaxed, more positive tissue change we can have, better uh, sympathetic tone, better parasympathetic tone, a whole host of physiological reactions that are great. You can go here, arms overhead, really reach. Breathe. You can exhale, drive the weight in, and just relax into it. And you can just go throughout your entire T spine where you feel spots, so that's the lower end. That's really helping to target the diaphragm, like I said. We have that mid part, but you can also get up here, a spot where it kind of comes into the neck here, and you can do the same thing. Those upper ribs, especially. If you're an inversion guy in jiu-jitsu, you know, like you're playing over onto a shoulder and you're shooting your hips up, those upper ribs are going to probably get very crunched up. And so if you can get some breathing in, some movement here, you know, even adding some of this movement like we've done before, it can go a long way. So guys, main takeaways from this video, focus on maybe breathing in to create space in between the ribs and then exhaling to where then all that air deflates and you can probably pop and create space in that tissues and also remember your, la your relaxed breath, your out breath is where your body relaxes. Okay, so remember that always, okay? But guys, take great value from this video, just uh, share with a friend, like I said before previously I'm sure, but um, have this in your team before and after training. I always like to be softening work before I stabilize and softening work is a great day to, or a great way to cool down 
get ready for your evening, get ready for sleep, and what have you. So, take care, guys. Connect with me below again. Schedule a 10 minute call if you want help, you want some resources on creating a performance and pain plan. Have a good day. Peace.